based on actual events as recorded in the Book of Mormon, another testament of Jesus Christ. I speak unto you. Thou art my firstborn in the days of my tribulation in the wilderness. Thou knowest the greatness of God, and he shall consecrate thine afflictions for thy gain. I know that thou art redeemed because of the righteousness of thy Redeemer. And thou hast beheld in thy youth his glory. And the spirit is the same yesterday, today, and forever. And the way is prepared from the fall of man. And salvation is free. Men are instructed sufficiently that they know good from evil. By the temporal law they were cut off. By the spiritual law, they perish from that which is good, and they become miserable forever. Wherefore, redemption cometh in and through the Holy Messiah, for he is full of grace and truth. Behold, he offered himself a sacrifice for sin to answer the ends of the law unto all those who have a broken heart and a contrite spirit. Wherefore, how great the importance to make these things known unto the inhabitants of the earth. Jacob, there is no flesh that can dwell in the presence of God, save it be through the merits and mercy and grace of the Holy Messiah, who layeth down his life according to the flesh and taketh it again by the power of the Spirit, that he may bring to pass the resurrection the dead, being the first that should rise. For it must needs be that there is an opposition in all things. But Father, why? If not so, righteousness could not be brought to pass. Neither wickedness, neither holiness nor misery, neither good nor bad. 